Hey there, it's Laura here from makingcardsisfun.com and welcome to another card making video tutorial here at my YouTube channel and blog. In today's video I'll be creating an easy and cute Christmas card with a traditional twist featuring Mama Elephant products and products from a Dutch brand called Carlen Design. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm starting out by stamping images from the Oh Kitty Tree stamp set from Mama Elephant. I'll be coloring all of these images using Copic sketch markers. For the yellow on this card, I am using Y19, Y18 and Y13. As always, I'm starting out with my lightest color. Then I use the darkest color to add my first layer of shading. Then I use the mid-tone to blend that out. And then finally, I use the lightest color to add some highlight and to blend all of the colors together. For the adorable little kitty, I am using YR27, YR24, and YR21. And red cats are my favorite, not only to color with the Copic markers, but also in real life. I just absolutely love red cats and I have always loved them ever since I was little. So I am using, again, the darkest shade first, then I use a mid-tone, and then finally I use the lightest shade. And then I like to go back in with that darkest color just to add some stripes. For the Santa cap, I am using R29, R24, and R22. And I used these three markers to color all of the red images for this card. I am also using YG09, YG06, and YG03 to add a little bit of green. So as I mentioned before, this is an easy and cute Christmas card, but I added a traditional twist to it by featuring the traditional Christmas color combination. I die cut these Christmas trees using dies from a Dutch brand called Carlen Design. The die cut set I'm using is called Kerstbomenversiere, which means decorating Christmas trees. I'm adding color to these dyes using Mode Lawn Distress Oxide Ink in my smallest makeup brush. I like to use makeup brushes to do ink blending on cards. Now that I have all of my little images ready, it's time to assemble and decorate these Christmas trees. I use some foam adhesive and I'm also using my tweezers just to position everything perfectly. I am going to trim some foam squares a little bit smaller and less white so that it's easier to adhere these teeny tiny ornaments in my die cut Christmas tree. For those little hearts, I am using the Tonic Studios Deluxe Adhesive. By the way, I made this card with my crafty friend Marika or Marika in English and we both created this card. She used a slightly different color scheme for her background that I'll be creating right now. So I die cut a rectangle using the large stitched rectangles I could set from L'Enfant. I also use some Mina Solar White cardstock to do so. And then I'm going to use three uh, Distress Oxide ink pads to create a nice red ombre background. I am starting out with the color Festive Berries. Or no, sorry, it's Candied, candied Apple, I mean. So I'm starting out with candied apple, then I am moving on to abandoned coral and then before switching to the next color, I am actually going back to that candied apple to make sure that I have a nice gradient between those two colors because you don't want to see a harsh line. So I'm constantly switching back and forth between all of my colors to create a really nice, smooth, um, flawless gradient background. Finally, I'm going in with picked raspberry and again, I'm using some inexpensive makeup brushes to add these colors. Finally, I am just going back and forth between the colors and then I decide to use my biggest brush just to kind of swipe from the top of my cardstock to the bottom and then from the bottom to the top and then I also kind of tapped my cardstock just to make sure it looked really nice and seamless. I decided to use the Liquid Stardust from L'Enfant to add some beautiful sparkly splatters to my background but I ended up having some trouble with this product and I wanted to show you. So I tried to squeeze out some of the product out of the little nozzle. I shook the bottle really well before using it. 
Um, but then I noticed that nothing would come out of the nozzle, so I immediately thought, well, it must be clogged. So I took a needle, I tried to poke that open, that didn't do the trick, so I uh, took the little nozzle off and I saw that it was really clogged. So I rinsed it under the tap and then I thought, okay, now it's ready to go, but I still couldn't use it. So then I had to use a bigger needle, well actually my friend used a bigger needle, uh, to poke that open and now I am able to use it. So on camera I didn't show you the right way to use it. Normally you can squeeze out liquid stardust. I actually had to remove the nozzle and kind of pour it on my craft mat. So it was clogged, not a big deal. It works right now so I'm still kind of pleased with this product. So I sprayed some water on my craft mat and then I mixed that with the liquid stardust. I loaded up my brush with the sparkly goodness and then I uh, splattered some of it on my piece of cardstock and it looks really beautiful and super sparkly. So just in case you have this product and nothing comes out of the nozzle, just use an, uh, a thick needle to poke that little hole and then you'll be able to use it perfectly. Anyway, moving on to my sentiments. For this Christmas card, I decided to use a Dutch sentiment since especially like my grandparents like to have some uh, Dutch sentiments on their cards since, you know, not all of them speak English, of course. So I used a die cut set from a Dutch brand called Carleen Design. And the die cut set I used is called Elegante Kerst, which means elegant Christmas. My sentiment says Fene Feestage, which means happy holidays. I used some vellum to create my sentiment. So I am using some of the silicone foam, foam tape to make sure that it's not visible on the cart. So I just had to trim that down a little bit and then I'm going to adhere that behind the biggest or the widest leather so I can kind of cover that up because even though it is clear, it will show a little bit. But if you do it like this, it'll be just fine. I die cut a rectangle again using that large stitched rectangle die cut set and I used some paper from the Spiffy Speckles pattern paper pad from Lawn Fawn. I'm going to adhere my little blended background on my note card using foam adhesive. As always, this is an American size A2 note card, so this one measures four and a quarter of an inch by five and a half. I'm also using my Zig um, Clear Wink of Stella glitter pen. This is the regular tip and then I added a coat of Tonic Nouveau Crystal Glaze to add some shine and dimension. And finally I'm going in with a White Blizzard and Honey Gold Glitter Drops from Tonic Studios. I really like that this is an easy and cute and kind of modern looking Christmas card. But I still use the traditional red, green and gold colors. And here you can see the beautiful sparkle from the Lawn Fawn Liquid Stardust. So there you go, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell below. Thanks for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye bye!